Hello everyone, welcome to SQL problem solving series. So we have easy level problem for today. So we'll be using different kind of functions which are present into SQL and how do we use all of them. So we have first of all the question says query the sum of the population for all the Japanese cities in city table. The country code for Japan is JPN. So the problem is very much simple. So we just need to get the sum of the total population for all these cities which are present into the japan so we are getting from the city table and we'll be using the filter condition here where the country code is equal to and inside this will be writing jpn let us hit the run code button let's see if we are getting the output or not we are using the sum function to get the total population also we are using the where condition to filter out only the japanese cities we in addition to this we have a problem also so the problem says the average population for all cities in city rounded down to the nearest integer value so we don't want a decimal value we want an integer value so let us see how to do this so i'll be using the average function here uh, i think it's evg and then we would need to provide the population and we would need to round off the answer to zero decimal places so it is up to you you can write the zero or if you will just write in the bracket that would also work and from the table name we need to provide here so from city we will hit the run code button you can see we have got the correct answer here also so we are seeing the round function we are seeing the average function let us see one more problem here so this is also a simpler easy level problem so we need to get the difference between the maximum and the minimum population in the city table so will be using the minimum and the maximum function if you know so we'll be using the max from the population and the min from the population and we need to get both of these values from the city table let us hit the run code button you can see we have got the correct answer so these three problems they were kind of a easy level problem but they are very good to practice all these simple level functions different functions so into these problems we are using different functions such as the max function min function round function the sum and also the average functions we have used so friends do like this video if you have found this video very much useful and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't received such kind of useful information on daily basis meet you in the next video thank you so much bye